Yo, what is going on guys? It's Zebrev. Welcome to another MLB The Show 19 card review. Today we're going to be going over 94 overall signature series Lee Smith. This card was obtainable as one of the rewards through some events a couple of months ago, maybe a month ago. Um, so he's no longer obtainable except for on the marketplace and he's currently selling for around 50,000 stubs. So with that being said, let's get right into the card review. Um, this card was kind of weird and hard to evaluate for me, so I might get a little rambly here, but I just want to make sure I say everything that I'm thinking of. So um, this card was not great for me overall. I would say he's pretty average to below average, actually. Um, if you were to ask my opinion right now, I would undoubtedly say someone like Rob Nen is better. And I would say it's pretty close that probably even Trevor Hoffman is better than this card, just in my personal opinion. And that's for a couple of reasons, the biggest one being his fork ball. So what is supposed to make this card um, unique and really good is that 82 mile an hour fork ball. The problem is his control on it is terrible. Um, even on pitches where I was hitting the analog meter perfectly, he would still hang them. So like, I'd have two strikes on a batter, I would aim the pitch well below the zone with a fork ball to try to get them to chase. I would hit the meter perfectly and it would still float to the bottom of the strike zone and be a strike. So that's a big issue. Um, maybe I was throwing the fork ball too much with two strikes, but I feel like that's kind of the point of using this card and it just didn't go well for me. He seemed to miss his spot a lot. Um, he, has a, he also has very poor control over the slider and that gets me to kind of my advice for using this card. Um, I don't think this card is terrible, and if you're bent on using this card, go for it. Um, but you have to pitch with him a certain way. You have to pretend that this card is Kenley Jansen, and he has a cutter primary, because cutter is far and away his best pitch, um, and should be thrown probably 60% of the time, to be honest. You should be looking at like cutter 60%, four seamer 20%, and then a total of slider and fork balls like the other 20%. Um, which kind of leaves you in a tough spot because you're throwing everything hard, but he does have that nice five mile an hour differential between the four seamer and the cutter that you can work off of. So um, that would be in my advice with this card is to just pretty much exclusively throw the cutter uh, Mariano Rivera style and just kind of mix the stuff in. But yeah, um, the control problems really, really had me struggling with this card, especially with what is supposed to be his n undoubtable out pitch. So. That's my overall review of him. Like I said, he's pretty good. If you have some lower tier guys in your bullpen, this would definitely be an upgrade for you. But as far as top tier relievers in the game, I definitely don't think he's up there. So as always, we'll rate the card how he rates in the meta and we'll rate him compared to how much he costs. So how he rates in the meta, I'll give him a B. Like I said, um, kind of struggles and I don't think most people are going to use this card the way that I recommend. Um, because it's kind of counterintuitive, so in that case he's probably going to underperform. So I'll give him a B there, and for how much he costs, I'll give him a C+. Plus. Um, 50k is kind of a lot. Um, I realize that filling out your bullpen with some of the top tier guys costs even more, um, but I don't know. I just think Hoffman is probably as good and he's free, and if you already have someone like Rob Nen, he's definitely better. So um, I hope this card review was helpful for you guys and you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments section who you want me to review next. Enjoy the clips after this, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.